Hello again everyone, welcome to our channel. In the last lesson, I showed you how to read and understand the financial statements. In this lesson, I will explain what an account is and how it helps in the recording process. Before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Well, what is an account? Simply, it is the recording of increase and decrease in a specific asset, liability, or owner's equity item. For example, an increase in cash, in account payable, in salaries expenses, etc. An account has three components, which are the title, the left hand side, which is the debit side, the right hand side, which is the credit side. We call it the T account because it looks like this, the shape of letter T. Well, when you see DR, then it means debit. And when you see CR, then it means credit. A common mistake that some people think that debit and credit are increase or decrease. This is wrong. Debit and credit does not mean increase or decrease. Simply, when you enter an amount on the left side, then that means debiting. And when you enter an amount on the right side, that means crediting. We say that we have a debit balance when the debit amount is greater than the credit amount. And we say that we have a credit balance when the credit amount is greater than the debit amount. I understand that you might still be confused, but don't worry, I will explain this in details in the next slides. Okay, first, let's have a look at two ways of recording debit and credit. Let's take an example of the cash account. The first way is called the tabular summary. Here you can easily notice that each positive item represents an increase in cash and each negative item represents a decrease in cash. The second way is the account form. And you can also easily notice that an increase in cash is recorded on the debit side, which is the left side, and the decrease in cash is recorded on the credit side, which is the right side. If you want to know from where we get these numbers, please watch lesson number three on how to use the accounting equation. Okay, now please remember well that each transaction has a dual effect. That means, in each transaction you perform, the debit side must be equal to the credit side. The reason for this is to make sure that the recording process is accurate and the errors can be easily detected. Ok, now let's connect the dots and make everything more clear. For the assets account, like cash, account receivable, and other asset accounts. When we have an increase in an asset account, we record it on the left hand side, which is the debit side. And when we have a decrease in an asset account, we record it on the right hand side, which is the credit side. Ok, for the liabilities account, like the account payable, when we have an increase in a liability account, we record it on the right hand side, which is the credit side, and when we have a decrease in a liability account, we record it on the left hand side, which is the debit side. Ok. For the owner's capital account, 
when we have an increase in an owner's capital account we record it on the right hand side which is the credit side and when we have a decrease in an owner's equity owner's capital account we record it on the left hand side which is the debit side okay for the owner's drawing account when we have an increase in an owner's drawing account we record it on the left hand side which is the debit side and when we have a decrease in an owner's drawing account we record it on the right hand side which is the credit side okay for the revenues account when we have an increase in a revenue account we record it on the right hand side which is the credit side and when we have a decrease in a revenue account we record it on the left hand side which is the debit side okay finally for the expenses accounts when we have an increase in an expenses account we record it on the left hand side which is the debit side and when we have a decrease in an expenses account we record it on the right hand side which is the credit side okay this slide summarizes the dual effect in each account Please memorize them very well. I would recommend to take a screenshot or write them in a piece of paper and keep, in, keep them with you every time you do an accounting transaction. Okay, now here is an important note. It is expected that each type of account has either a debit or a credit balance which is called the normal balance assets normally show debit balance liabilities normally show credit balance owners capital normally show credit balance owners drawings normally show debit balance revenues normally show credit balance and finally expenses normally show debit balances like what we do in all our lessons please take a short break and come back to solve this example please write your answers in the comments of this video and feel free to ask me any question in the comments and i will reply as soon as possible good luck that's all for today congratulations on finishing this important lesson thank you very much for watching see you next lesson Bye-bye.